Today we are introducing a new tagging tool. The purpose of this information is to inform you on the safe and proper use. After you have seen the video and reviewed the certification and operation booklet, if for any reason you do not understand the proper use of the new tool, please ask your supervisor for assistance. Let me introduce you to the new safe tatch. A large area for excess material is available. The rubber tip avoids damage to the product and activating surface. A thimble offers a strong piston action with improved leverage for thick material applications. A foam rubber boot protects the user from the needle point. The shoe and tag spring assembly offer a tag holding area and separate the needle point from the product. The fasteners are connected in a tree fashion. First thing, let's look at the never touch needle replacement system. We provide a carrier tube that houses a new needle in one end and on the other end, a receptacle for removal and storage of the expired needle. The new needle is visible through the tube. Push the carrier tube receptacle through the thimble, pushing the receptacle onto the existing needle on the tagging tool. Unlock the needle lock using the tube. Remove the needle from the tagging tool. Once you have the tube outside of the thimble, press the expired needle all the way in the tube. It is now secured and the needle will not come out. Make sure the needle is flush with the end of the carrier tube and rotate the carrier tube where the new needle is stored and push the carrier tube back into the thimble, aligning the needle using the indention as you pre-position the needle inside the tagging gun. Turn the needle lock to the lock position. The needle is now secure in the tagging tool. Then extract the carrier tube. You have now completed a needle exchange without being exposed to the needle. To discard the expired needle that is now in the carrier tube, return the carrier tube into the plastic container it came in. Put the press on cap on the container. After you've used all the new needles, use the replacement container to insert all the carrier tubes holding the expired needles and follow the recycling instructions provided in the needle package. Now you are ready to use SafeTatch, tagging new merchandise with tags. First, let's discuss the tool and its operations. The fastener is attached to the garment using a trigger to push the fastener through the needle just like the existing Swift Tatcher. It uses the same fasteners as you've used with your exposed needle tagging gun. The two metal spring strips shown serve three purposes. They hold the new tag you wish to attach, they separate the fabric from the needle, and they push the merchandise off of the needle after the fastener has been attached. Place the tag you wish to attach between the two metal springs. Align the hole on the tag so that the needle will go through the hole when you push your merchandise using the thimble onto the needle, then squeeze the trigger forcing the fastener through the needle and the tag attaching to the merchandise. There's two ways to attach tags to merchandise. You can use the thimble by using a table. Press the end of the thimble against the table using the thimble to cover the needle, allowing you to squeeze the trigger, pushing the fastener through the needle and onto the merchandise. And move the gun slightly to the right, detaching the fastener from the tree. The thimble can be used using your index finger and your thumb. Place your thumb inside the trigger, using the divider channel to the shoe and your index finger over the end of the thimble. Squeeze the forefinger and the thumb together. This will result in the fabric being pushed onto the needle. When in position, squeeze the trigger and the fastener penetrates the material. Release the trigger and move the gun slightly to the right, detaching the fasteners from the tree. Caution, never place your finger in the shoe area. Before you allow to use the new SafeTatch tool, it is required that you read and understand the certification and operation booklet. After you have completed your study of the certification and operation booklet, it is important SafeTatch must be used in the prescribed manner. If any parts are missing or the tool is malfunctioning in any manner, do not use.